Welcome back to Small Lathe. What we have here in the chuck is this very same thing. This is a small slug for tough later mouse. We have seven of these. And we're going to drill them, turn them into tubes to contain a drill bit. Now, the idea is very simple. The idea is exploring how a slug that will have this drill bit stuck in the middle, like so, just protruding from the top, how it will behave while it's flying in the air. And the idea is that the air rushing through these veins are going to make the shell spiral in the air, twist. And this will obviously give it some stability. So let's get started and see how we make these. I've already pre-drilled the slugs, so we don't have to do that. I'll just shift to a four millimeter drill bit. And then I'll be using my stubby drill bits because this can hold up to seven millimeters in diameter, not longer. This is an aluminum foil. I know it's painted gold, but this is an aluminum foil and it protects from marring by the teeth of the jock jaw. Here we go. The 10 will not be drilled thoroughly. I'm going to leave a, a 3 millimeter, 1 8 inch lip on the inside. Later on, we'll turn it to 9. We're now 18 millimeter inside, and this is 23 millimeters. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do just 2 more millimeters. Just advance two more millimeters. There we go. Now, I need to get it to 18, sorry, I need to get this diameter to 10.9 millimeters, which is this diameter. It's supposed to be 11, it's actually 10.9. So we're going for 10.9 millimeters. We're ready to ream. Let's get started. Okay. Actually, there's a simpler way to test this. I just need to do that. Will it fit or not? Uh, that's in the way. Yep. 10.9. Very, very little tolerance here. And we're reaching. Probably there's chips inside and all that. Let me get that out. And we can clean it up and see how it goes. Yeah. Full of chips. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let's get this 
cleaned up. So we have a shorter diameter here, larger diameter over here, and it fits. It fits quite well. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But if we stick the spiral side inside, come on. Yeah, you can see that, I hope get some light hope you can see that so we're done turning this side what I want to do is chamfer the edge and turn this from 8 to 9 millimeter and the problem is that um, <laughs> I can't put a 9 millimeter here a drill bit a 9 millimeter drill bit I cannot do that I do not have the way to do that. I don't have the drill bit. This is 10 and I don't have any 7 and 9 stubby drill bits which really drives me nuts but I couldn't find a supplier not on eBay or on or local. So uh, <laughs> what do we do? Well, I have, a, I have a surprise for you guys. When Cliff gave me the Unimat it came with a 4 jar chuck. So, we can mount the four jaw chuck over here, but that's really annoying to start uh, centering it and, and fumbling with that. Now, when you have to, when you're doing critical diameter things, you have to do that. But uh, well, I have a better solution. This is a self-centering four jaw chuck. What do you know? <laughs> this is the first time I've been, I've been able to drill 9mm diameter with a drill bit here. It's really ridiculous. And I can't do that with this one because it's a 10mm diameter over here. Okay. That's nicely chamfered. Let's flip it. Slug number one is done. I hope you can see the ledge here while being fired. Sorry, this one. This will be sitting on the ledge so it won't move, but I'll epoxy it anyway to make sure there's no excess movement whatsoever. So here we go. First slug. Allow me to turn these rather fast and I'll uh, get back to you. These will be cut with a grinding angle and I'll cut these with an angle grinder and we'll install these together. So, see you in a minute. Face shield and ear earmuffs and gloves. Battle. So let's cut one. So we have a slug, nicely faced, let's weld it. First things first, I'm going to use some flux, right so the drill bit head has been fluxed and I'll flux the walls over here as well, and that will be contact, contacting each other and like so. There we go. So now we need some uh, solder, lead tin solder, and we need some heat. 
Not sure if you can see the flame. I think we just hit the bottom and we can shut it off. That's a good work. Well, I hope you liked it. I think these are most interesting. I do hope they perform well. I also hope their internal structure would allow them to fly properly through the air. And we'll have to wait and see, won't we? So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day.